What's up everybody? Today we're going to be talking about how exactly the body makes sound when we're going to sing. This process is called phonation. Phonation is the process by which the vocal folds produce sound. By the way, they used to be called vocal cords, but now they are vocal folds. That is the latest lingo from the scientific community. Now you are hip. Let's talk about the vocal folds. Feel around on your throat to see if you can locate a bone that's shaped sort of like a V. This is located generally where the Adam's apple is or the Eve's apple or whichever apple you'd like to call it. You'll know that you're in the right place if when you swallow, this area goes up and down. It feels kind of funny, huh? What you're feeling is a structure called the larynx. The larynx is a group of cartilages and bones that house the vocal folds. Now with your hand in the same place, say, ah, you should be feeling some vibrations. Those vibrations are coming from the vocal folds and they're passing through the larynx into your hand. The vocal folds themselves look a lot like a rubber band in a V shape like this. They are ligaments with muscles on either side and they sit right on top of the windpipe like this. When we breathe, they open to allow air to pass in and out freely. And when we speak or sing, they come together and they vibrate very quickly as the air passes through. The speed at which the vocal folds vibrate is what determines their pitch. If I were to sing this note, ah, this is A440, that's 440 hertz. That would mean that the vocal folds are coming together and vibrating at 440 times per second. This note, a high C, is 1,046.5 hertz. That means that the vocal folds are vibrating at 1,046.5 times per second. The ligaments also stretch for higher pitches and shorten for lower pitches. Now, when we're singing, it's ideal for the vocal folds to close together all the way while staying flexible and relaxed. If they don't close together all the way, that is maybe they close only on the top or the bottom, air will escape and the tone will become breathy. If they close together too forcefully, the vocal folds can get very fatigued very quickly and the sound may also be strained. So when we talk about phonation, we want to focus particularly on how we begin the sound. The word for this is an onset. In singing, there are generally three types of onsets. The first is called a breathy onset. This is where the vocal folds don't fully come together and some extra air passes between them. The best way to demonstrate this is with the word hi. Say hi and really lean into the H. Hi. Some breath is passing through your vocal folds before you actually get to the sound. Now let's sing hi. Here we go. Hi. That would be a breathy onset where your vocal folds aren't fully coming together and some air is passing through. The next is called a glottal onset. This refers to a harsh onset where the pressure builds up on the attack and the vocal folds come together more forcefully. Now take the H off of the high, really allow the pressure to build up when you say I. Here we go. I. You can hear that's a little bit more forceful. Now sing I. Here we go. I. Okay. A slight glottal is sometimes necessary for diction purposes and clarity, particularly in foreign languages like in German on the word ach but too much pressure on the attack can cause fatigue and even injury over long periods of time, depending on how forcefully the vocal folds are coming together. What we're really after is what we call a coordinated onset. This is where the vocal folds come together fully, but in a way that's smooth and easy without too much pressure. This is where we come back to what we learned about alignment and breathing. That is, we inhale with the diaphragm lowering, we suspend and we prepare to sing with some openness in the throat, openness in the body, and we exhale on a sound with a relaxed and open throat. We're gonna try this on an ah, and we're gonna go ah, 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 ah. First, we're gonna do it breathy, then we're gonna do it with a glottal, then we're gonna try it with a coordinated onset. First, let's try it with a breathy sound. Here we go. Ha, 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 ha. Okay, it almost feels like the air is leaking out, right? Now we're gonna try it with a glottal onset. Be a little careful with this one that you don't overdo it. Here we go. Ah, 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 ah. You can hear how much harsher that sound is. You can almost even hear the pressure building up each time I have the vocal folds come together. Now we're gonna try it with a coordinated onset. We're gonna take a deep, low breath, making sure that we keep the throat open when we go to sing. 
Don't allow anything to collapse or force itself together. Just allow that breath and openness to turn into a sound. Here we go. This is an exercise that you can practice going up and down the scale to work on getting that coordinated onset throughout your range. Have fun.